everyone, my name is Clitia and I have a, an Italian channel about my au pair life in the United States and I want to try to do this video in English too. So what I want to talk about this in this video, it's a, like a trial video, I want to see how it's going and receive feedbacks and maybe comments about my English video. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that my English is not good enough, but I just want to try and see if I can do it, maybe, and help other people to come in the United States and give more information about how he's being up here here and everything that you need to do in the United States. So if you are Italian, please check my Italian channel. You can find the link down. And if you are not, let's enjoy this video. So let's talk about the social security number. Social security number, SSN, it's the first document that you have to apply to after your arrival in the United States. Um, go on Google and write Social Security Administration Office to find out where is the office closest to you. And once you did that, you have to go directly to the office with some documents. First of all, you need the I-94. The I-94 attests your en entrance in the United States. So you're going to receive this form after your arrived here your agency is going to send it usually by email to you so you have to print that out and bring with you the second things that you need it's your DHS form on your DHS form you're going to find all the information about your host family your residence and everything that you need so and of course you need your passport um, fourth you need the cultural care, in my case, because I'm with cultural care, so your agency letter. On cultural care, you can find the cultural care letters online directly on your account. There's a link, so you have to print this letter and bring with you. Absolutely, you don't have to forget your phone number and your address to bring with you. Um, um, when you add everything, after 10 days that you are in the United States, you can go to the office. So when you are there, there's a guard. The guard is going to ask you, why are you here? And say social security number and you're going to receive a paper to fill out. So you have to fill the paper with all the things that you need. Usually you can do that directly online if you want on the website and print and bring with you. But the... The office usually is crowded. Uh, I suggest to go there like 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the opening. So, and basically you can do everything there you, because you are waiting. So you don't have to be ready basically. I did the same and I arrived there like 15 minutes I think before and there, and it was not the first one. So, um, so you're going there, all the documents, all your form, um, go to the desk and you will receive your social security number at home basically uh, after between two weeks after you are applied for it. If you're not receiving that, after two weeks it's very important to call the office and ask why probably there's a problem or something like that so in two weeks you are going to receive it why this number is very important this number is important because you need this number for example to apply for your bank account sometimes you need it for your driving lessons and when you're going to the doctor too so after 10 days please go low immediately and re and get your number and um, what else? Um, don't take your number with you. Never bring your number with you. Don't put in your wallet, but put in a safe place home and just maybe uh, save the number somewhere. So why? Why? Because people, they can stall your identity um, through your social security number. So that's it. 
thanks to watch this video. So I'm so sorry again for my bad pronunciation and for my basic English. So, but yes, just let me know if you want to see more video and I can do more English videos for you. Bye bye.